in life, there is two kinds of forgiveness. And in life, there is two kinds of foundation. I want to elaborate just a little bit on the two kinds of forgiveness. The first kind of forgiveness is forgiveness when you have a person you come to mutual understanding and you forgive one another um, and beg one another pardon. And then you have another type of forgiveness wherein that you beg the person pardon and they really don't forgive you or don't want to forgive, become very arrogant. Um, then you also, that person, you have to be very careful when you hear a person always putting the blame on the other party. And the other party is so bad. The other person, the other wife, the other husband, always doing something wrong. And you let them say it and let them tell it. They don't ever do nothing wrong. You know, they're most holy than any other people. They do everything right. But regardless to whether an uh, individual forgive you or not, we still, as the people of God, in the body of Christ, have an obligation to forgive that individual, no matter what. And some people will tell you, I will not forgive you. Some will say, I will not forgive you, neither will I forget. They won't let you forget it. Now that spirit, you got to be very careful with dealing with a person like that because they can be very vindictive. And uh, when a person refuses to forgive, nine times out of ten, and they're setting you up to hurt you again. It's just as simple as that. I'm just going to be transparent and be as real and as honest as possible. When I read these emails, and I hear some of the things that some of you guys and girls and women and men are saying in these emails. Some people, even in the church, can be very vindictive when it comes to forgiveness. Not only in the world, but I repeat again, also in the church, they can be very vindictive when it comes to forgiveness. But nevertheless, we have a responsibility to treat the person uh, that have mistreated us, have done us wrong. We still have a responsibility to love them and to treat them in a better fashion and to be more like Christ and less like ourselves. And I'm going to be honest, forgiveness is not an easy thing to do. And especially when you've been hurt by someone that you love, family members, wife, husband, children, grandmama, Pukinam, anybody in the community. When you've been hurt, and especially when you was in love with that person, it can be very devastating. But you have to work on your heart and ask God every day. Lord, take away the hurt. Lord, take away the hurt. Give me a spirit of forgiveness. And if you keep beating on your heart and asking God to open your heart and allow you to forgive, after a while, it may not be six weeks, may not be a month, it may be two, three, or four years or more, eventually you'll get to the point wherein that hurt don't even hurt no more. And that's when you know that God has healed you. The scar may be still there, but the wound has been healed. Unforgiveness really hurts you. But forgiveness, it'll heal you. It doesn't matter what it is. It doesn't matter what a person has done to you. In a long period of time, 
as time take her course, you will heal. As my father-in-law used to say, if you keep saying good morning. If you really want to be free, you got to learn how to forgive. And I came to tell you, that's not an easy task. But you got to keep on forgiving and you got to keep on looking to God. And if you keep praying and asking God to give you a spirit of forgiveness, he will do it for you and he will do it for me. I'm gone. I'm out of here. Talk to you in the next video. Peace.